This is me. 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 And I am here to introduce the Sarah Lewis. Sarah has become one of my very bestest friends. Sarah is one of the most kindest people I've ever met and is always, always trying to make me laugh. She is so thoughtful in everything that she does. I am never not feeling like I don't have a great friend in my support system. So I can't wait for you all to meet her. I believe that everyone in this world is equal. I believe that no matter how different someone may be, they are still like everyone else. People are all the same, and therefore, we all deserve to be treated the same. This belief that I have started after a terrifying event that occurred when I was just two years old. After being rushed to the doctor, my parents found out that I had a tumor that consumed and destroyed my entire middle ear, as well as a small part of my brain. My parents and I knew from the moment we found out I needed surgery that I was never going to hear perfectly out of my right ear ever again. As sad as this made my family and I, I was able to have amazing doctors that were able to provide me with the option of a hearing aid. Now, it may not be perfect hearing, but it did give me more than 20% hearing in that ear, and I will forever be grateful for this. Although I am extremely grateful to have a hearing aid, it was also something that had altered my entire world. I had to learn what was best for me when it came to learning and even doing the sport that I love. For example, in baton, I twirled a certain music, and I developed a way to help me hear that music better. I learned that I could feel the beats of the music on the floor to help me know where I was in the music. I concentrated on the beats that I felt through the floor, and I just remember being so proud of myself. I was so proud that I made this sport work for me, as it is something that I hold so close to my heart. However, that feeling of being proud got destroyed. It got destroyed when others told me I was never going to be successful. I was never going to add up to anything, and I was about ready to give up. It wasn't until my parents looked at me and said, this is what you love to do. Do not let what someone said change your mind. You are strong and your hearing loss does not define you. I remember hearing this from my parents and it just, it had motivated me to work so hard. And it proved that I could do what I wanted. So I decided from that day that I was going to prove that even though I had a disability, I could still be successful. Since that day that I changed my mindset, I have been trying to advocate for those with disabilities of all types. I stand up for people like me, people with disabilities. I have proven myself to the world that I am different, but that does not mean others should put me down or make me feel like I am not worthy. I have personally seen other people with disabilities achieve their dreams and goals just like someone without a disability. I will never not believe that we are all the same, even if we are different and I hope to continue helping those with disabilities achieve their goals in life. This is me. 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 This is me.